Have a wish you could power any device with a single tap. In this video, I'll show you how to turn your Elgato Stream Deck into a remote control for a Tapo Smart device. No coding, no hassle. We'll explore everything from a single on off setup to a more advanced multi option solution, all using Mac shortcuts. Imagine switching on your lights, coffee maker, or anything else at the push of a button right from your desk. Sounds too good to be true? Stick around because I'm about to walk you through it step by step. All right, before we begin, make sure you have already installed and set up the Stream Deck app and the Tapo app on your Mac. You also want your Tapo device added to the Tapo app. Let's take a quick look at how that's set up. In this video, I'll show you how to control the Tapo L530E smart bulb using the Elgato Stream Deck. Let's jump into the next step. First, create the shortcut on the Mac. Open the shortcut app on your Mac, click the plus button to create a new shortcut. In the search bar, type Tapo, then double click on Turn on off a device to add it. Choose the type of device you want to control. In my case, it's the Tapo Smart Bulb. Click the Info button at the top, then select Add Keyboard Shortcut. In the Run With box, enter a keyboard combination that you'll use to trigger this shortcut. For instance, I'm using Control plus Shift plus Command plus K. Give your shortcut a clear name, for example, Smart Bulb On. Before moving on, click show more and choose if you want to have a pop-up alert when the automation runs. I personally don't like the pop-up, so I usually turn it off. Close the shortcut to save your changes. Let's now assign the shortcut in Stream Deck. Open the Stream Deck app. Look at the system category usually pre-installed in the sidebar. Drag the hotkey action onto any blank key on your Stream Deck. Click the hotkey field and assign the same keyboard shortcut you set in the shortcuts app. For example, Control Shift Command Plus key. And that's it. You are done with the basic setup. Now, when you press that key on your Stream Deck, it runs the shortcut on your Mac and turn the Tapo bulb on or off. There are even more advanced options available. Let's dive in and explore a few of them. We just created one shortcut for a single on-off toggle of the Tapo bulb. If you want separate buttons for on and off, simply repeat the Mac shortcut process twice, one for on and one for the off. Then in the Stream Deck app, use the hotkey switch action instead of hotkey, so you can toggle on and off with the same key. I'm using the hotkey switch to turn the bulb on and off with one button really convenient. If you want to get fancy and add more than two actions, you can create a multi-option solution using the multi-action switch feature. First, go to the multi-action category in the Stream Deck app. Drag the multi-action switch onto a blank key. Open the multi-action settings. Add as many actions as you like. This could be multiple shortcuts or other system commands. Name each stage if you want and test to confirm it works. In my case, I've just copied the existing shortcuts, buttons and combined them so I can handle multiple devices or scenarios with one key. And there you have it, a straightforward way to control your Tapo smart plug or any Tapo device with a single tap on your Elgato Stream Deck. All thanks to Mac Shortcuts. Wherever you just need on, off, or a more advanced multi-action setup, you've got the power right at your fingerprints. In the description, you'll find all the links to the items used in this tutorial, and if you'd like more videos on setting up the Stream Deck app or the Tap app, just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the